This was building for professors, because we are now at university, Jagiellonian University, the oldest one in Poland, established in 1364 by King of Poland, whose name was Kazimierz. Have you been to Kazimierz? Kazimierz is named for the, for the, for the part of Kraków, the Jewish quarter, right? You can see the king was very modest, he named part of the city after himself, and uh, of course this was this wasn't named after him. This university was named after another king because Kazimierz died in 1370. The problem was he didn't leave any money for the professors. The professors left this university. Imagine that. So there was no university. It just died. And someone else had to save the school. And you saw, actually, people who saved the university. Second person, Queen of Poland, she gave a lot of money for the university. That's why she had a box with money. Her name was like Harry Potter's owl, Hedwig. Uh, and her husband was King Jagiełło from Lithuania, and this is Jagiellonian University, named after the King Jagiełło, right? So he built this, thanks to his wife's money, this was built, of course, that's why they are together here, and then, uh, of course, we, had, we saw some professors, right? Do you know any famous students from this university? Not professors, maybe, but students. And I'm not talking about myself because I didn't study it. Copernicus? Yeah, Nicholas Copernicus, right? You know, he was an astronomer who came here in the 15th century with his brother and he discovered that the Earth goes around the Sun, right? And the planets move around the Sun, not the opposite, as people thought. Uh, so, uh, a very, definitely very famous person. And second famous student, he wanted to be an actor. He came here in 1938. One year later, the war started. He had to change his plans. He did it, of course, he became priest, then bishop of Krakow. Oh, and asked, John Paul. Yeah, exactly, you can see uh, on where these girls are taking pictures right now, next to them, on the wall, there is a coat of arms of the Pope. Yeah? So John Paul II, the only Polish Pope, because he studied here. Uh, Poly current Polish president studied here, some Polish kings studied here. Uh, so we can see a uh, good university, definitely. And it's still uh, working. So this building, for instance, Sometimes you can spot some people coming here to study history of art. Sometimes. It's not like something would happen on a daily basis. But you can see much more things inside. This is a museum. Uh, and in this museum is one, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful museums in Krakow. Very small but very beautiful. Established after World War II. Uh, we have a nice collection of gifts. Gifts um, that were given to us by Polish people. And we had some famous Polish people who lived in Krakow. For instance, some movie makers. What is a dream if you are a, uh, a movie maker? To get what kind of award? An Oscar. Oscar. Oscar is here, in this building. In this part of the building is the treasury of the university's museum. And they have the Oscar on the same shelf where you can find also Lion from Venice, uh, a Bear from Berlin, other awards for the, from the same movie maker, Andrei Vajda. And uh, next to them, there's also something on a blue pillow. It looks like a medal. A huge, a big coin, let's say, and that is Nobel Prize, a Nobel Prize which was given to us by a Polish, uh, Polish writer, Szymborska. Uh, have you heard about her, Szymborska? She was a poet, and I don't know if you're a big fans of poetry, but even if you're not, read her poems, please. They are very interesting, and she was awarded because her poems are based on contradictions. So, for instance, in one of the poems, Szymborska was wondering who will be that sweet little boy, because the name of the poem is first photo of Adolf Hitler. And for her, the, the baby in the photo was very sweet. Yeah, sweet baby. <laughs> and then he became a monster. Of course, she knew, right? But contradiction, sweet baby, and then you know what happens later. Basically, that's why the Nobel Prize. Um, and of course, this is a building which was decorated very nice. You can see some heads in the corners. Mm. Two heads of students here. Heads of dragons in two of the corners. Mm. Right, you can see them. Dragon, by the way, is an official symbol of Krakow, right? You know that already? We're going to see a dragon. I mean, I will tell you something about dragon. You will see bones of that creature. We have three bones of dragons in Krakow. You will see them at the end of the tour, okay? And really, I'll prove that dragon existed in our city, okay? At these images. Um, do you see also uh, any other cool uh, decorations in the building? Muslim military? Is there, uh, it's not 
Uh, well, maybe it was inspired by that, that yes. Horse? Yeah, but, but I'm talking about something on the roof. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, yes, yeah, twisted chimney. chimney, right? Yeah. Uh, back in the day, if someone wanted to prove he's a good bricklayer, he had to do something what people would call a uh, masterpiece. And that was one of those masterpieces. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, they, they go with a frame around the door. Of course, it was entrance to something, some important place. On the left side, it says Gibraria. So what is it, what is the place for? Library. Yeah, the historic thing was library. It was the entrance to the museum, of course. Uh, and books were expensive, remember. Books were handwritten. Wasn't, or they weren't printed. So it would take like one year to create a book. It was very difficult and very expensive. But let's say if you're a student here at Copernicus, after your studies, you're going to have the best job ever. You're going to work now for the King of Poland or for the Bishop of Krakow or for some Greek people and well, you know, you spend a lot of money because historically in the Middle Ages people had to pay for their studies. It wasn't for free. Copernicus had to pay a lot. Now it's for free. Holy cities they don't need to pay anything, right? Uh, so they don't have any debt after their studies. Uh, some of them don't have any job either. Uh, all depends <laughs> what they study, of course. You know how it is. I studied history, so you know, I can be a teacher, uh, uh, but I prefer to be a tour guide, right? And I didn't study here, I studied in Wroclaw. And then I lost my head completely for a girl in Paris. Now I live in Bangkok. Different story. No, the other thing has a happy ending. Uh, okay.